We're here. It's at this shrine. We should get going. Hey, Omaru, do you have a second? Huh? I yeah. Are you really sure this is okay? To end it like this? Running away? You're asking this now? All this time, I've been trying to escape. And not just that. I'm still worried about my dad and mom. What are you gonna do, Toko? Are you really gonna stay here? Uh, of course. I have to save Master Byakuya. Right. Hey. What do you think, honestly? Is it better for me to stay in this city? Why are you asking me? I mean, if I go, you'll be alone. Toko, do you want me to stay? You have no reason to worry about me. I'm capable of surviving on my own. Yeah, you're right. When I'm around, I'm just a burden to you. Unlike me, you're truly amazing, Toko. Hey, Omaru? Hmm? Sorry for getting you involved in all this. Involved? What do you mean? N nothing. Just leave before he changes his mind. Um... Huh. But... But... Demon. with me no hey don't mess with me don't mess with me Too suspicious. <laughs> Demon. This way. This is it. This is the secret passageway we prepared in case of emergency. Go through here, and you can get outside the town. What are you doing? Hurry up and leave! Hey, what's the holdup? If you just go through here, you'll be outside of the city. Didn't you want to run away? Didn't you want to escape this town? 
Th that's right, that's what I've always wanted. At least that's what I thought. Toko, is it really okay for me to go? D do whatever you want. It has nothing to do with me. Not anymore. Oh my. Seems like I made it just in time. Man, that was close. Truly a last minute save. You? Why are you here? Why am I here? To persuade her to stay, of course. So that our boring and common protagonist who has no distinct characteristics doesn't just quit. Huh? Komaru Naegi. Though you are normal, not an ultimate, or even a part of Future Foundation, I really do think quite poorly of the idea that you would abandon your friend and run off alone. Are you really going to just run away like this? Is your conscience clear? Stop it! What are you saying? She's about to leave for good! That would be quite bothersome for me, you know? That is why I must convince her to stay. Huh? It would be disappointing if she did not see the game through to the end, how it was meant to be. Don't just go speaking your mind without permission! You're a servant! Listen to me. In order to see our paradise, this girl cannot stay here. So then I must ask, which is more important to the Warriors of Hope? Paradise or the game? W what are you talking about? It's obviously... The game, of course. What? You're a smart one. You must be at least vaguely aware. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sneaking about. You could have openly proposed a halt to these slayings to focus entirely on building paradise. And the reason you did not do exactly that and are instead going behind their backs is because you realize your favorite Miss Mage would choose the game over paradise. <sighs> Do you know what you call someone who behaves like you're behaving? A traitor. You're wrong. I care about them more than anyone. They all have high hopes for me. I mean, I am the leader. Nagisa. Isn't it best if you just calm down a little? You can leave the rest to me. Ugh. Okay, I really think you should. D damn it! That's right. People who are not needed in this scene should go and make their exit. What are you talking about? I must admit, I am a little disappointed. When I heard that she was his little sister, I was intrigued. His? Makoto? Do you know him? Now listen, since I've planned the game out this far, I would like it to be completed. Of course, Perhaps I am being somewhat unfair to you, Komaru. Rather, the one who disappointed me was Toko. Huh? Uh... Now perhaps I am mistaken, but I believe we made a promise. You were to escort her to headquarters. Promise? Es escort What are you talking about? Oh, I really think it should be Toko who answers that question. But if you continue to be silent, the story cannot progress, so I will speak. I made a deal with Toko. If she escorts you to the children's main base, I will release Byakuya Togami. Consider it exchanging hostages. The plan was to trade you and Byakuya. What? What are you talking about? And it was such a good deal, too. Why did it have to come to this? That's a lie, right? You're lying right now, aren't you? You're just making it up! If you believe it to be a lie, think back on when you two first met. When you first arrived at the hospital on your parachute, did you know why Toko turned up there? She came to save you because she was told where you would be landing. How else could you possibly explain such a contrived encounter? The reason Toko has been your companion through all this was because of her deal with me. Lies! You're lying! 
I went through considerable trouble making sure you would complete this little game. Returning the hacking gun you had lost, having the Monokuma kids deliver items, that was me. Consider it game balance, as they say. You've thought about it before, I'm sure. Why enemies conveniently drop items? Why the path you must travel on to advance is always clear. The game began as a way for the children to have fun, but it was also a game to help you grow. And I am the one who made it that way. Wh why me? Hmm? You mean, why was I so particular about choosing you? Well, that is all your brother's fault, of course. Makoto? He defeated Junko and Oshima, the one I truly hate. And I wasn't there to witness it. That's why, this time around, I wanted to see the action up close. And not only that, unlike him, an ultimate, you are a normal girl who can't do anything. That was particularly compelling. Her brother, a hero, the symbol of hope. The little sister, utterly boring by comparison. If someone like you were to stand against despair, that would bring hope to the people. Hope is exclusively found on the side of the weak, the losing side. People are touched by underdog stories, slaying Goliath, the weaker team winning a game. The majority of society is made up of the weak and untalented. They are inspired by such tales. What are you saying? If my assumptions are correct, you will release a light even brighter than his. And in order for that to happen, I need you to participate in my game. Through the game, you will grow, defeat the final boss, and become the hope for this town. That's why it would be quite disappointing if you give up halfway through. Please, save this town from despair. Show me your dazzling light of hope to crush despair. Wh what do you mean? I'm hope? I, I don't understand what you mean at all. Ah, I see. So you still don't understand. I blame myself. I should have been more enthusiastic. But regardless, I truly do believe in you. No matter how big the despair, hope will always win in the end. That is why I feel no remorse becoming despair myself. You... you're just as crazy as those kids! You must be insane! Who cares about me? The more important thing is what you two are going to do now. I mean... Now that Toko's lie has been uncovered. Toko, please, just tell me the truth. What he's saying, it's a lie, right? That I'm gonna be traded for Byakuya, and you've been lying this whole time. That's, that's gotta be a lie, right? Answer me, Toko! Who would actually want to save someone like you? Of course it's not a lie! What? All this time, I was protecting you and cheering you up. It was all for the sake of Master Byakuya. Toko... That's right. I was deceiving you. And you just kept relying on me. Toko! Toko! Uh, trusting me like an idiot. It's your fault. I... I believed in you. Well, you shouldn't have done that. Why would you believe in me? I have a split personality with a serial killer. I'm abnormal. All my life, nobody even tried to trust me. It's always been like that. That's why I've never had a problem lying to people. But regardless, why do you believe in someone like me? Toko. From the very start, I hated you. Just being with you was insufferable. Why? It's all lies. I'm not lying. It's the truth. I tricked you from the start. You were a fool not to realize it. You're just a stupid idiot who got set up by the coward Toko Fukawa. Simple as that. Ah, Toko. Don't you think that maybe your ranting isn't helping? If you put it like that, she will be even more motivated to leave you behind, will she not? 
If you want to stop her, you've got to try harder. Byakuya is important to you, right? Guess there's no other way. By force if I have to. Force? Gotta kill! Kill, 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 kill! Oh, I got no choice. I gotta start the slicing! Togo! If you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you! Stop it already, Togo! I won't let you escape, Kamaru Nayagi. It would be troublesome if you did not play your role. Yes! It works on the stun gun! If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town! See? Now what are you gonna do? If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town! Whether it's school or the outside world, it's all the same. If you don't defeat me, huh? That's strange. Even with the hacking gun, Komaro should be easily outmatched by Togo. She lost consciousness. Toko. Oh, I lost consciousness. That means I must have lost. If that's the case, I can't stop you now. Hurry up and run! What are you doing? If you don't hurry, next time I really will take you by force! You did it on purpose, didn't you? You lost on purpose. Huh? You lost on purpose so you can let me go. Right? Saying cruel things to me and attacking me without warning? It was an act, wasn't it? So that I wouldn't hesitate to leave you here. What are you talking about? Why would you think that? Don't treat me like an idiot. I already know you're much stronger than I am. We've been together all this time. Toko, why? If things stayed the same, you never would have made a move, would you? You always made me decide. You didn't do anything on your own. So you wanted to give me a chance? I was with you all this time, you know? I... I know you well, too. And also, listening to this crazy idiot's orders just makes my skin crawl. Oh, <laughs> it sounds disgusting when you say it. Well, that is completely understandable. But are you really okay with this? If Miss Komaru runs away, the safety of the hostage cannot be guaranteed. Well, personally, it's for the sake of the game. Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? Then allow me to lend a hand. See, you'll still make it if you go now.
Even though you two share knowledge, you don't share memories, correct? So then, you have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I suppose. Idiot! It's no mistake. What I share with her isn't just knowledge. She and I also share emotions. If we didn't, there's no way we'd both love Master. Oh. And my emotions are telling me this. To kill you and let Dekomaru escape. And you're something of a pretty boy yourself. So I can kill you as I like. No regrets. Ah, I see. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? Huh? To travel the harsher path. For the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. But aren't you a serial killer? You're an aberrant who has no problem taking lives to satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends, do you not find it strange? Or even shameful? <laughs> I can't breathe! Friendship! Probably wasting your time. I mean, after all, she knows she needs to kill me. Byakuya's life is in danger as long as I am alive. If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape... I'll stay. If that's how it is. If I stay in the city and go with her... Then it's fine, right? That's right? Hey! You know what the hell you're talking about? You were crying and whining about escaping earlier, remember? You know what? You change your mind? I still want to escape! I'm still scared! Even now, but you feel the same way, don't you? You were scared too, but you tried to help me escape. And hid how afraid you really were inside, didn't you? There's no way I can run now, leaving you behind! As expected, you just don't get it. I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? No, no you didn't. And you're suffering from guilt, aren't you? If you're hurting, you can tell me. I'm an unreliable, normal girl who can't do anything. But... I can at least do normal things, right? And it's normal for a friend to help a friend. I'll stay. No matter how much you say no, I will definitely stay with you, all right? I've decided. Man, so annoying. All that lip service talk that I hate, so damn irritating. Anybody can just say something. In that case, I'm a great detective, an astronaut, a reporter, and a Terra super beauty. <sighs> and besides, you have absolutely no idea what I'm really like. What do you mean? There's no way I'd say no. Huh? Rather... 
things. Toko! <laughs> Oh. So, um, about what just happened... It... it's all right. I kind of figured out what was happening. Huh? Really? Friend? <laughs> the last time I was called that was in a dream I had in grade school. That's pretty depressing. <laughs> well, you're actually one of many friends that I have, so you don't have to take it that seriously. You bring that up now? Let me have this moment a bit longer, jeez! Well, Just kidding. guess it turned out so all right. So not funny!